How about I'm going to switch my voiceover? <clears throat> Here's a very fast overview on how to calculate how much torque you have gained from switching gearing in your differentials. Okay, so first thing you need to figure out is transmission output torque. The equation for that is engine torque times gear ratio. That equals transmission output torque. Uh, we'll, we'll do this. We'll do the uh, example. We'll, we'll use my Jeep. It's a 1997 ZJ, four liter inline six. It comes with 185 horsepower and 220 foot pounds of torque. Now, stick that equation in. It's 220 times 355 because that's the gearing it comes with from the factory. That equals 781 TOT. Um, for the new gearing, which I want, it's the same thing. Um, Torque times new gears equals 902 TOT. Now, to figure out how much torque you've actually increased, um, you have to figure out um, what number times the new gears equals the uh, old gear TOT. So, I figured that out to be 190.5 times 4.10 equals 781. And you bring that over here, and then you subtract that from your engine torque, and that will equal how much torque you have actually gained from switching gears. See, um, if you went to, say, 560 gears, your torque increase would be a lot higher, this number. And then what you do is you stick in that number here, so 220 plus... 29.5 is, is uh, 250. So you've went from 220 foot-pounds of torque with uh, the 355 gears to 250 foot-pounds of torque with the 410 gears. It's a very quick overview of it. This one down here is for my dream truck, which is a 2001 Dodge 2500 5.9 liter 6-speed This is the equation I made for that one. Figured this all out myself. Until further news, I'll talk to you later. So, per se, if you were to do 456 gears, um, with 456 gears, I would increase my torque by 48.7, which would bring me from 220 stock to 269 foot-pounds of torque with 456 gears.